It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Okay, so get online, bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. Gemma Kenny is here looking... Um, avant-garde. Looking well deaverish. I feel like I, whenever I come and see you, I have to go avant-garde. Shades indoors. Otherwise it'll be disappointing for everyone, so <laughs> I'm ready. Looking forward to your new show. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm going to be getting up at three in the morning every day. I know. Uh, but yeah, no, really looking forward to it. I feel like at that time of the morning, you really need a mate on, on the radio. Yeah, I so totally I, agree. I'm really, really proud that I, I'm going to be given the opportunity to wake up with the people that work really hard in this country and have to be up between 4 and 6.30 a.m. Do you know, um, when I was doing that show, it, it's apart from the hours, it is a really good time of day to be on because like, it's just like a little club. It's really nice. I'm really, really excited for the new challenge and like, I want to be on Monday to Friday. And I've you got are. too much to say. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> soon, soon, Gemma, soon. Okay, so it's in you in a bingo with the Queen of Bingo, Gemma Kearney. Come on! Come on! She's got a rain mac on. Right oh, Jordan in Brighton's not happy. And now I'm late in a rain mac. Oh, Jordan, stop it. I was in the traffic and oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I did oh. celebrate being here by doing an old school dance move called the Bogle, which I will do again on camera if people are nice. I love a Bogle. Oh, yeah. Do you want a Bogle? Go on. Mm, mm, yeah, girlfriend. <laughs> and now... <laughs> right, let's crack on with business, though, Gemma. Come let's on. go to Innuendo Bingo. Watch mm. online now. Let us know if you're watching. I might give you a little shout out. First to Channel 5's Hotel Inspector from earlier in the week. And over the course of the episode, Alex and Sue have been really getting to know each other. Something the narrator couldn't help but pick up on, as you're about to hear. Will Sue's personal touch downstairs put a smile on Alex's face? Small spurt from Kenny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> straight in his face. My nose. How can you put water up your own nose? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle and Lottie from Eastbourne spotted that one. All right. Game on. Those voiceovers on documentaries can sometimes go a bit wrong, I find, as we found out last week with this classic from Mel off of Mel and Sue on mm. Collectaholics. Mm. But will a valuation convince Stuart to sell? And will I get that pork pie in the buffet? <laughs> 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 oh, that was a good one, Star. Uh, I'm so glad I'm wearing sunglasses. I don't wow. even think that's one. And will I get that pork pie in the buffet? <laughs> <laughs> I love Mel as well. Same. And now, more water please, and we cross over to the book review on Daybreak. And I didn't realise they were allowed to talk about these kind of books at that time of the morning, but obviously they are, as you're about to hear. A friend of mine gave me a book just before Christmas called The Mystery of the White Lions uh, by a, a wonderful woman called Linda Tucker. Who's, and it tells her story, and her life was utterly changed yeah. about 15 years ago. She went over to Africa, and she had an experience in the bush. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was a great one. She had an experience in the bush. <laughs> I'm glad Jerome she, Flynn. I'm glad she did. I'm really glad that she did. Yeah, I am as well. You'd want to, wouldn't you, if you went all the way to Africa? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the least you could expect. <laughs> <laughs> and now... <laughs> Come on, Jem, hold it together. <laughs> she had an experience in the bush. <laughs> uh, OK, next. Over to the great British sewing bee now. And after being on national TV for a few mm. weeks, this contestant suddenly realised that she may have been showing a bit more of herself than she intended. Difficult, I'm picking velvet. I know, so I'm going to see what I can do without him picking it. Oh, everyone's seen my wrinkled zip. <laughs> How is that even a programme? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. On my back. <laughs> <laughs> There's people sewing. What's going on? Oh, everyone's seen my wrinkled zip. 
A wrinkled zip. Oh, Harriet and Amber right. spotted oh. that one. You're losing it more than normal. Today. <laughs> Oscar from Paisley's watching. This is brilliant. It gets better. Says Paulette down in the borough. Uh, Alex and Wessel Supermare and Josh saying Gemma's laugh is the best ever. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Was that it's a text or just you? No, especially with your thumbs up. <laughs> I really hope you're watching this. <laughs> now over to the taste. It's Nigella's hot cooking show. Mm. And Nigella, frankly, is dismayed at what some of the contestants are up to. Oh, dear, 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 dear. So we've each got one in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's gone on your fringe, Chris. <laughs> oh. I didn't realise till I watched that show. They have one in the bottom every single week. Nigella. So we've each got one in the bottom. Okay. Um, Just for muse. I know. <laughs> okay, so now back to yesterday on BBC Radio 2. And Jeremy Vine, along with his guest, was studying a picture of the Queen. And I think this little slip from Jeremy might tell us what was on his mind at the time. I can't see, to be honest, I can't see anything different about the Queen on this. What I do notice is... And it's also, I... it's also deeper. The, the flan on the obverse is deeper the than flange. the... flange? The flan. Oh. <laughs> they were looking at uh, the picture of the Queen <laughs> on pound coins. <laughs> 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 Is that even legal? <laughs> checking for signs of forgery, of oh, course. So you do. Leave that on purpose? Yeah, no, but you do have to remember to check your flan. Flan, sorry. Easy oh, mistake. The, no. The flan on the obverse is deeper. The flange. You? Ah! <laughs> he shouldn't say that. I know. He, whoa. Right, come on. Okay, more water, please. As we go over to a show called Britain's Banger Racers on BBC Two. And just listen to the painful noises in the middle of this clip. The commentator does a very good job of describing what's going on here, I think. 17, Steve Taylor, he sees yeah. Billy Brown! <laughs> and Taylor just goes straight through Billy Brown's rear end. <laughs> this is projectile bingo today. Oh, my God! <laughs> Chris, your technique has got even oh. better. It's Straight like, through yeah. Billy Brown's rear end. Sean and Maidstone, give yourself some points. Thank oh you for emailing that one. Uh, this is not cool anymore, guys. Kerry and Aberdeen oh. is watching for the first time. Gemma is maybe my favourite person ever. I may have to get up at 4am every morning so I can listen, says Ailsha, having a cup of tea. OK, so now this one's really stupid, just to warn you. If you could take some more water, please. It's over to yesterday's Rip Off Britain on BBC One, where Gloria Hunniford has met a man who... Well, let's just say he must have quite smelly trousers. Um, it's nice and firm, and you can see it's got, like, a stiffness towards it as well. He may be only 25, but the fish business is in his jeans. <laughs> 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 really stupid, but I quite like Who it. Found that? Who found <laughs> that? That was so immature. We're yeah. all so immature. Kelly, spelt, uh, Kelly found that one. It was really quite taken surprise by the it. The fish business is in his jeans. <laughs> okay, now we're going over to yesterday's tipping point. Oh, More water, please. This is my tipping point. It's pretty wet down there, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Over there, over there. I meant not down there. Oh, Scott. Oh, it's all right. It'll be over in a minute. It's dribbling <laughs> down. This is worth the wait, definitely. Uh, inside. On the inside of where, please? Uh, jump rope. Sure. Okay, so tipping point. And Ben Shepherd seems to make all sorts of demands of his contestants. Next question. The word cerebral pertains... Oh, Billy? Head. Brain. We have to accept your first answer, I'm afraid. Okay. Billy? It pertains or relates to which organ in the human body? It is the brain, but yeah. you gave me head first. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's gone. Scott's gone. Gave me head first. And Shepherd there. Craig in Dartford and Alistair and loads more spotted that one. Oh, my word. And finally, 
a classic from BBC Radio 2. All right then. <laughs> and here is Vanessa Phelps to tell us that her discussion topic for the day is... Swallowing. That's the issue. The swallowing part. You just think, shall I swallow? And then you realize how lucky you are for the whole rest of your life that you don't normally think about these things unless you're really very unwell indeed. And you think, well, shall I swallow or shan't I swallow? Let me try not to for another few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you're asking for that, Kenny. <laughs> Wait, my that, was, that was brilliant. Hello. Oh, so, sorry, I left you hanging. Shall I swallow or shan't I swallow? Let me try not to for another few minutes. She had awful swallowing glands that day. Oh, oh Right, okay, that was Innuendo Bingo with Gemma Kearney. And you yeah. look hot as. Thumbs up, peeps. Thumbs Bring up. It back. There it is. 